to another video from Play Simple Chords. In this video, I'm going to cover the chords and progressions used in the song By and By. In this gospel song, I will be showing um, more chord progressions and chords that you can insert into the uh, this song using its basic chords as a foundation. In the background, you hear uh, the song with these added chords in it. So I'll be using the concept of borrow chords, but more so I'll be using the secondary dominant chords, the secondary leading tones, and uh, other chords that you can insert in to enhance the progression. Some of them are diatonic to the key of E major, and others are outside the key. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the chords used in the song by and by. The basic chords are the one, the four, and the five. There are occasional uses of other diatonic chords, but the basic chords used to harmonize this melody is one, four, and five. Now, if you look at the first four bars, you'll see that the E is a major chord, and then the second is a E7 chord, then an A, and then an E. The E becomes a dominant chord because it becomes the five of A. When we look at bars five through eight, we see that uh, E7 is still used as a dominant chord, but then we add the five of B7 by playing the F sharp. So we play the E, E7, then the F sharp to the B7. Bars 9 through 12 repeat the uh, same chord progressions as in bars 1 through 4, but it's the uh, last bar where we add a uh, common turnaround progression, which is a 6, 2, 5, 1, 4. chords in bars 17 through 32 are the verse and they pretty much use the same chords as in the chorus in bars 1 through 16. Minor exceptions are in bars 20 and 29 we use an alternate bass for the E chord and in bar 27 and in 19 we use a minor 7 for F sharp rather than a dominant 7 for F sharp. But in all other aspects, the chord progressions are very similar, and especially the, the ending chord progression between bars 29 and 32. They also use the 6, 2, 5, 1, 4 chord progression turnaround. Okay, let's take a look at the scale for uh, the song By and By. We're going to do this tutorial in the key of E major. So E is the one, F sharp is two, G sharp three, A is four, B five, C sharp six, D sharp seven, and then we're back to E. When you, when you look at these chords, you, you can arrange them in uh, circle of fifths order and you'll get a different harmonic sound going from the one to the four and then seven, three, six, two, five, one. 
but a more musical sound can be obtained by using borrowed chords. So we would take the first chord, which is E major, and then we would, we would go to the D sharp minor seven flat five, which is the uh, seven, and then we're going to go to the three, which is the uh, G sharp seven, sharp nine, sharp five. And then we'll go to the C sharp, and then B, E, A, and then the G sharp minus seven, C sharp seven flat nine, to the F minus seven, to the G sharp minus seven, and then to the A, then there was C sharp, B over D sharp, and then back to E. Now that is more musical because we're using borrowed chords. And in the 736, it's actually the 251 of the 6, which is your C sharp minus 7. So you're going to play uh, E, and then you play your 2, 5, 1. So C sharp is your target chord. And then we'll go to a two five one in the key of A major. The previous one was C sharp harmonic minor. Now this one is A major. And then we'll go two five one in the key of uh, F sharp major. And then we'll go out using the uh, diatonic chords in the key of E major, and we'll end up back on this E. So that's how we can use it more musically. Now, in this example, using by and by, we're not going to play as many uh, altered chords or fancy chords, because the concept here is we're adding harmony to a chord progression that is that is very basic. It uh, uses the 1, 4, and the 5 chords, but uh, by using the borrowed card concept, but not necessarily the altered chords in that in that situation, you'll see how you can add harmony uh, and add movement to what would be a very static song if you didn't have these additional chords in it. Let's now listen to the um, song by and by using enhanced chord progressions for the chorus and the verse. Let's take a look at the chords that go with the verse first. We're going to look at the basic chords, which is the first 16 bars, and then the uh, in the table that's on the screen. And the second table has the uh, enhanced chords for the first uh, 16 bars. So I'm going to show you where the differences are and where they come from. So the first uh, changes we add this little pattern and we add a two five one to a so
to the um, A chord, and then we'll play a, a diminish to go back to the B. And this diminish creates a chromatic bass movement. So we're playing a essentially a, a G diminished over B flat. And then we'll go to the E triad over B. So that's where we get that half step. So we add E major, E, e to E major to E dominant, and then two, five, one, diminish to one. And then we use the B as a passing to go back to one. And then we repeat that pattern again. Then we play a, a D flat seven, which is the uh, five of two. Because if you look in the scale, uh, D flat is a borrowed chord. The D flat dominant seventh is a borrowed chord. And then we go to an F sharp seven. And F sharp in the key of E is a minor. So this is a borrowed chord as well. And that's the five of five. So F sharp is the five of B. And then we'll play a C sharp, which is a passing chord to B7. A C, not a C sharp, but a C dominant seven. And C dominant seven is not in this scale as well. So that takes you to uh, the B. Then we'll play an E for four bars, and then we'll play a G uh, minus seven flat five, and then an A, and we're just kind of walking it up, and then to a B flat diminish, and then we'll play the, the uh, G sharp um, minus seven, to a C sharp minus seven, to an F sharp dominant seven, to a B dominant seven, and to an E. And then we'll play the one, four, one pattern. So we added uh, some chords that come from different places. We used some five of five, um, and we used some chords that came from the a major scale uh, to create the two five one moving towards the A. So you can see we didn't use a lot of the more uh, advanced harmonies from the harmonic minor. We just stayed with the uh, the major scale for this particular uh, verse. Let's look at the verse and the chords for the basic progression and the chords for the enhanced progression and uh, see where the uh, changes occur. Now, again, you can see that we're still using the basic chords for uh, the uh, basic progression. We're going from an E to an E7, and then we're playing an F sharp minor to a B. So we're just, we're still using diatonic chords. So by and by, when the morning comes, all the saints of God be gathering home. We will tell the story how we overcome and we'll understand look at the enhanced part of it we're, we're still using the the E but we're not doing that little pattern the E E7 E major 7 to dominant 7 we're just going from the E by and by when the morning comes and then all saints
of God be gathering home and then we will tell the story how we overcome and then and we'll understand it better by and by so in here we still use the uh, 251 going to A and we use the um, secondary dominance uh, such as E7 which is a secondary dominant then we use the um, B flat uh, minor 7 flat 5 which is the uh, flat 5 dominant 7 and of course we use the B dominant 7 which is the uh, 5 of 1 and we talked about how it creates the 2 5 1 so you can see in measure 23 actually 22 through 23 you can see where the changes came we, we added a C sharp to a G sharp to a G flat and then a B flat diminished 7 to a B to B dominant 7 and then E so a lot of these chords are not true um, borrowed in the sense that the that they're uh, a parent scale that creates a pattern like it does in the uh, the two five ones in the previous illustrations, where you can have a changing chord center that runs through uh, a couple of harmonic minor scales and then runs through a, a major scale and then back to the diatonic scale. Um, these actually create additional harmony by changing the function of certain chords making a minor chord uh, a major chord or a minor chord a dominant chord or a dominant uh, major chord a dominant chord and uh, changing bass tones so that you can get alternate bass movement or you can get a uh, chromatic bass movement so that's um, some of what's been had uh, what, what has been done in this particular song so you can see that um, there's not a lot of fancy chords, but you can add movement by simply changing the function of certain chords in the progression and adding them uh, to the uh, to the song to the extent that they follow the melody. Thank you for watching my tutorials. Simple chords are the building blocks for making advanced chords. And I hope you find that these tutorials are helpful to you on your musical journey. Please like, subscribe, and share these tutorials with others who have a desire to learn how to play music on the piano. I look forward to sharing other tutorials with you in future videos.